So saving money is never a bad idea. Neither is hitting that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Having money in the bank gives you financial security to spend where you have to, and it gives you the option to spend where you want to. This is not only true for personal finance, but for business as well. Being a freelance camera guy who primarily uses low budget camera gear, I was able to save a decent amount of money on my equipment while still producing client worthy work. Low cost gear allowed for a quick profit because the cost of expenses versus the income from gigs was significantly less. This allowed me to spread my budget across multiple cameras, multiple lenses, mics, recorders, gimbals, you name it. And I was able to slowly build an arsenal that has served me very well. When I was first starting out, dumping all my money into just one fancy camera didn't make sense to me. Now, while one camera should be enough for a solo videographer, I saw it as a limitation for what kinds of projects I could take on and how I produce them. For example, having multiple cameras for things like weddings and interviews has its advantages because it gives you multiple vantage points. Multiple mics and recorders gives you more audio options. And utilizing something like the one wheel to get smooth shots just sets you apart from everyone else doing everything on foot. I don't think I would have been able to afford all that had I spent most of the budget on just one fancy camera. However, recently, I started to question something. As the business grows and improvements to video quality and workflow are to be made, is saving money by using low budget camera gear still worth it? It's worth it if the goal is to save money. But there is a difference between saving money and earning money. Low budget gear has its limitations when it comes to increasing production value or expanding the business. I'm not saying low end cameras perform significantly worse than higher end cameras, but the main difference that I noticed is the amount of time required to produce a desired result. For example, ever since I purchased the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K, shoot time and editing time has decreased significantly while video quality increased. Since Blackmagic RAW allows me to adjust ISO and white balance in post, I don't waste time during the shoot playing around with those settings. The 12-bit color depth allows me to color grade without introducing artifacts. The dual native ISO gives me a cleaner image in low light, which means I don't have to waste time denoising in post. And of course, the fact that it shoots 4K at 60 frames per second means that it shoots four times higher resolution than all my other cameras. Like my Canon SL2, which shoots 1080p at 60 frames per second, which isn't terrible, but it isn't 4K. Since it doesn't shoot raw, I do have to take the time during the shoot to adjust things like ISO and white balance because everything is baked into the footage. When color grading 8-bit footage, there is a higher chance to produce artifacts. And it just performs terribly in low light, so I do have to take the time in post to denoise every clip, and that also chokes up my computer. Upgrading to more expensive equipment isn't limited to only cameras. I now edit on a custom PC build that cost me around 1600 bucks, but it's specific for video editing, so that way I make sure that everything runs blazing fast and smoothly. Whereas before, I was editing on a laptop, which I got for free, so goes to show you how valuable it was, and that froze every 15 minutes every time I edited with Premiere Pro, so I had to restart the computer, and most often times I had to restart the project because it wouldn't allow me to save in time. Now these are just a few examples of the upgrades I've made. There are plenty more improvements, but for the sake of this video, these are the big ones worth mentioning. Now to finally answer the question from before, is saving money by means of low budget camera gear still worth it as the business grows? I'm going to answer no. I'm slowly developing the opinion that wisely spending more on more expensive camera gear has more potential to grow the business as opposed to saving money on cheaper gear if it fulfills two criteria. It increases the quality of your work and it saves you time. Higher quality work can justify an increase in how much you charge and the more time you can save working on a project, the more it opens up your schedule to work on other things like moving on to the next client project or working on your personal projects or it's also really nice just to have more time to yourself. I am not suggesting you buy anything you want without looking at the price tag. All I'm saying is if or when you're in a position to do so, it's okay to upgrade to more expensive, more advanced camera equipment if it increases the quality of your work, streamlines your workflow, or increases your potential profitability. The goal here, at least for me, is to produce the highest quality work that I can at its most profitable rate 
in the least amount of time possible. With my low budget gear, this was becoming harder to pull off because as projects demanded higher quality, the limitations of this camera equipment was becoming more apparent and I actually had to work harder and spend more time in post to get the desired result. Now, I've always come from the perspective of do what you can with what you have, hence all the low budget camera equipment. But if I wanna grow as a cameraman and advance my business, upgrading to higher end gear is justifiable in my opinion. What do you guys think? Comment down below what your reasons are for sticking with low budget equipment or what your reasons are for advancing to higher end equipment. Or if you were lucky enough to just buy everything you wanted from the beginning, tell me how you did that. Anyway, this is Kevin Mendoza signing off. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.